Hello YouTube and welcome to another MongoDB tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to install MongoDB community server in Windows. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first you have to go to the download page of MongoDB. So this is the official site. So you just type mongodb.com slash try slash download slash community because we want to use the free version of MongoDB which is a community edition because it is enterprise edition which is paid okay so this is the page so here you choose whatever version you want to download so here let's stick with the current one okay which is 5.0.2 and of course the platform is Windows and the package is MSI and you hit the button download okay so me I already downloaded I will show you here in my download directory so you get this file here so you double click on it and it will launch the process so all you have to do is a couple of next so you have of course to agree of to accept the term in license agreement next and here we choose the complete installation okay so of course here you can install it as a service or not but here it's better to install it as a service so it will be launched automatically after the installation is complete so you don't have to run it manually every time you want to need mongodb so hell i will stick with the default so i'll run service as network service user okay and there are two important directories also you have to keep an eye on them so the data directory where all your database file will be stored and log directory where you can actually see the log files in case of you have any problem during the installation or when your server is running okay so you hit next and also there is a program called mongo compass it's like a GUI interface for interacting or monitoring MongoDB but I don't need it, we'll stick just with the command line here you can install it later if you want so I'll have to uncheck this install Mongo Compass okay then next then we will launch the installation process okay So now the files are copied to the new directory that has been created and here you can see the service is actually starting. So first thing first let's verify that the service is running because I told you if you install it with the option to install it as a service it will be started automatically after the install so in order to verify that you just type here in the search uh, box services.msi or just services and you have here this dialog box okay so you go to the standard view so these are all the services running in your system or in your windows and you search for mongodb normally it will be here mongodb server which is the service running mongodb so you just click on it so you can see now it's running and it's running at startup automatically you can of course here stop it if you want restart it or suspend it but here we want just to make sure that is actually running okay so i'll hit okay and i will leave it so now in order to interact with it you have to launch what we call a mongo shell so how can i do that but first of all let's take a look at the directories where all the file has been installed so remember here we are in windows so by default they are installed in this directory here okay in this bin directory here okay so C program files mongodb server the version number and the bin so here you will find a bunch of programs but the most important one is this mongo.exe 
which is the Mongo shell that will interact with the Mongo server. And of course, there is a Mongo D daemon, which is launched by default or at startup when you are running Windows. Okay. So in order to run this Mongo shell here to interact with the Mongo server, you have actually to go to this directory here and launch the program. But in order to simplify the process, all we have to do is to add this path here to the path environment in our system. So whenever you are in your command line, you can launch this MongoDB. So let's copy the path to this uh, directory bin here. And you go here to your uh, search bar and you tap just in V in order to modify the environment variables. So here you get the environment variables for your Windows system. You go to the path environment variable, you modify it, you hit edit, okay? And you add another entry, of course. You copy or you paste actually the bin, the path to the bin directory, okay? And you hit okay, okay, and okay. So now in order to launch this shell, we just tap here in the search bar cmd which is our command line so now we don't need to go for example here cd to go to this uh, bin directory to give the full path then to execute the program you can just type mongo which is our mongo shell and you are connected here we go you see now you are connected to the mongo shell but remember the service must be running because let me exit for example If you actually stop the service here, you try to stop it. So if I stop the service, MongoDB server, and you launch your Mongo shell program, you cannot connect, okay? So always verify that the service is running. So I will start it here once again. Here we go. Now you can start your service to be clear the terminal so you just type mongo and here we go you are now in the shell so of course let me show you the different databases that we have here so we have the admin the config and local databases okay and by default we are in the test database but as we don't have any collection it will not show but here you can verify that using the command db so DB shows the current database that you are in. So here we are in the test database. So let's create a collection, for example. Okay, so, so for example, I will call just this collection restaurants and I will insert just a simple document just to show you that is actually so I will give here to name to my restaurant, for example, tacos. And let's add also another field, for example, cuisine. And I will call it uh, Mexican, for example. Here we go. Let's add this simple document just to test our... Here I forget, I have to make here a comma. So here we are, we have actually two fields in our collection. Here we go. Now it's written into the database or into the collection. Let's now show DBs. So you can now see the test database has been created. Let's show the collections. So of course here we have only one which is restaurants. And let's display our documents. We defined method. Okay, here we go. So you can see that we have here our documents with the name and the cuisine, and of course the ID, which is added automatically by MongoDB. But where are all the databases are stored? So if you return back to the spin directory and you go up, you see during the installation it has created a directory called data. So in this directory, you will find all your collections and all the files related to it. So keep in mind that, so in case you want to migrate your server from one 
Windows machine to another, you have to copy all this file in order to keep a backup or just transfer your data file from one server to another, okay? So that was just a brief introduction how to install and run MongoDB in Windows. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.